FOMO News starts right now. Welcome back. If you are getting ready to maybe sit down and eat lunch, this is a great segment to talk about what you can maybe do with any leftovers that you don't plan to refrigerate. We're talking about composting today and some of the confusion that sometimes happens. King County Eco Consumer Tom Watson joins us this morning here at 11 o'clock with some uh, intriguing props, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great to be with you, Kale. You. Um, Let's start over here. What do we got? This is a little experiment we've been doing. This is a demonstration see-through composter unit that is great for science fair projects and in classrooms and so about four weeks ago we put different food scraps items in each of these containers in this one there's a banana peel and an orange peel and there's a little magnifier on there yeah. they can even zoom in and, and see see how much they've degraded in four weeks a couple of pieces of bread there that that are really mostly gone and then over here um, um, some veggies celery and some snap peas something like that those are almost entirely yeah. gone you really don't smell it no not too much a little bit of a, a smell. little bit but, but it's not not nearly yeah. what i thought it might be talk to me about what food breaks down quickest in 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 a backyard bin for example um, the veggie scraps like like um, cauliflower sure. or lettuce um, the what do you call the the stuff you're not eating yeah. right the, <laughs> exactly you know the, the, and the rinds food. and things and fruit you yeah you want to be in now now most of us do our um, the way we get our food waste composted yeah. is through the the municipal programs, yeah. the curbside collection, putting it in the food waste and yard waste bin. Yeah. Some people might have backyard composters or 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 worm bins. You have to be careful about what you put in those for the the um, the local programs the, that the, the haulers do and the yeah. cities do, you can use different containers and you can put almost all your food gotcha. scraps and then we have the things that you don't put in there. Excellent. Well, I wanted to ask you a little bit because I see you have a plastic cup over here. I know that they have compostable plastics now. Is, 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 are all compostable plastics the same? Um, no, not at all, and there's a lot of confusion about that, and I wish it was more clear. Governments and the, the hauling companies and the, the companies that process those, those organics and food scraps there, we're all really trying to do a better job, but right now um, you need to check with your, your city to see what's listed, yeah. and there's, there's certain products that, that are compostable, and they, they don't want them in the recycling, and even though they want cups and the recycling. It, yeah. it, it's unfortunately it's, very confusing. It's a lot to consider. And you did mention that there are some great resources. I know the city of Seattle has a lot of it laid out on their website. That would be the best. certainly has some information Yes, as well. those would be the best places yeah. to go. Do I have a time to just... Just we have about 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> this is simulating the poop. Never put, never put, <laughs> this is, I found this as an emoji stress ball, but, but, um, so never put pet waste, or plastic items, those annoying little stickers. Mm -hmm. Don't never, put those in compost. Never put those in your in your your food waste bins or in your compost. Gotcha. Wonderful. Well, Tom, thank you so much yeah, for coming. Thanks, we Kim. really do appreciate it. Seven